Hard to believe, but there are only two weeks to go before Lopper football kicks off the 2021 season with a little trip up to E-Line. Of course, Josh Conklin, head coach, joins me now. And all right, state of the program. Been at it for a couple of weeks. Be able to kind of get systems in and, and probably not game planning in yet, but kind of tell me how you're feeling right now about things. Well, I, I've really been encouraged with their work ethic. I mean, I, I think they've come out and, and they're hungry. Um, I think we've got a little bit of humility in terms of some of the young guys and some of the guys that have been here in the past. And so that's always a good combination, um, you know, working through camp. We've had some tough days. We've had some long days, but they they have fought the fight. And that's probably the most encouraging thing right now. We're not where we need to be at all uh, in terms of getting ready after that first game. But uh, if we keep working, I think we'll have a chance. Obviously, the first thing people always want to ask, quarterback situation, returnees, Jimmy Wyrick, Peyton Derrick, uh, Bryce Corst, and Trey Baker, young guys in the mix stepping up. How good do you feel about the position right now? I feel really good about it. I think, you know, Jimmy uh, and Peyton and Bryce have all had really good camps up to this point. Um, Kyle uh, Penix, kid from North Carolina, young kid, freshman. Uh, he's going to be a really good player for us. Um, he's just trying to pick it up and learn the system. Those guys have a lot of reps, though, so they're going to continue to battle out here for the next two weeks. We haven't named a starter yet, but the competition in that room is really good. Life without Wade Lang continues. We're all wrapping our brain around that one. Tyler Carlton in as the co-offensive coordinator with Dane. Uh, talking about the offensive system, similarities, differences from the last couple of years? Yeah, I think you'll see uh, some similarities in the run game, um, although we're going to do some things a little bit differently, maybe in formations and um, how we set it up and, and kind of you know, Dane's philosophy uh, in terms of how he wants to call the run game. But a lot of the same schemes that we've kept, I think the biggest thing that we're trying to do right now, and it's always a work in progress, but we're trying to mesh our run game with our throw game, which I don't think we had ever really done a complete job of um, in my three years here. So that's the, that's the challenge. That's kind of what they've been charged with from my perspective. And, um, you know, it's getting better every day, and I'm, I'm encouraged with what I see right now. Who has stepped up defensively after that crazy season, half a season last year, where you guys were putting it together with tape and paper mache? Mm -hmm. Talk to me of some of the stalwarts who have really looked good so far in camp. Well, we went out and we grabbed some defensive linemen. Uh, you know, we like to base out of a, a three-four, so we need some bigger interior guys. So that was a huge focus. So, you know, two guys, Anthony Latney uh, is a kid that's had a pretty good camp. Uh, Romello Gray has had a good camp. Brandon Mena is a kid, a freshman, who's had a really good camp up to this point. And, you know, obviously you got Mike Mason and Tanner Barnes is, is back out here after his injury. So we feel pretty good as far as where we're at from the defensive line standpoint. I've been really encouraged with that group because I think if that group is put together, we got a chance to be pretty successful. Um, if they're not, then it's going to be a struggle similar to what it was last year. Coach, as always, we appreciate your time. Year four of the Josh Conklin era begins Labor Day weekend at Elon.